Gone. Oh, don't record me. Okay. I'm going to keep the camera on me. We're talking about reversing diseases, Dr. Sabi, and HIV, cancer, herpes, whatever. And I have a modernized, modernized belief here. And I have an unmodernized belief here. And my answer to most responses is unfortunate. A lot of people would not come out and say, but a lot of diseases can be reversed um, just, just by simply by going by a plant-based diet and going against modernized medicines and uh, education and white coats um, is rare, but it works. So for anybody that's in a high risk or exposed to uh, diabetes or cancer, because of their uh, generational uh, ways of eating and living are subject to certain types of diseases. So it's not that disease runs into a certain family. Like I can't say my family is prone diabetic, though that seems like the case, but I watch my family and most of my family eats garbage. They eat poorly that I think feeds a, diabet diabetes. I think a lot of people can say that about their family. Right, but a lot of people I'll, I'll always say, my family, we're big bone, or that cancer runs in my family. And when you think about it, all due respect, it sounds retarded to say a man-made disease runs in my family. Because the simple fact is, the way you eat is what runs in your family, not the disease. What you got? Brain tumors in kids. Okay. Leukemia in kids. Like mm -hmm. kids born with that. Do you think that was a product of how they ate, or how their parents ate, or how their how their mother ate during you know gestation? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Hmm. You could, and why and why certain races of people tend to get certain types of cancers more than than others? Mm -hmm. All a product of diet. Yes. Um, you not genes. You know, people get uh, right. I heard that before. Called, uh, Hodgkins. Mm -hmm. Not uh, not Hodgkins. Um. Oh, what's it called? Huntington's disease, which seems like a very white disease, but. Huntington's disease, right? And they say it's generational. It, it, it skips a generation. Every other generation tends to get this mm -hmm. this disease. Um, okay. And you think, again, that's just diet. Right. And following uh, Dr. Sabi and or the alkaline lifestyle, we understand that there's only one disease and not because of our racial differences or cultural differences that we have them. It's simply because of the, the acids and the violations that we invited into our diet that has compromised those cells to host those disease. So you, to, to, to reverse any disease, you have, to, you have to start with the colon. Once you have cleansed the colon and fed the body the proper nutrition to push out the toxins and the chemicals that have violated your body, to remove that mucus, then your body will be in an alkaline state. There's a, a, a fact of acidic eggs and acidic sperm. You can have alkaline sperm and you can have alkaline eggs. So with reproduction, you definitely can pass on whatever is in your diet to your offspring. Sure. No one doubts that. Okay. So with that being the case, yes. That's the, the case of an alkaline culture. And look, I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to leave y'all with that. And I will be dropping some more. One time for the culture. I appreciate you. Peace.